Alleluia. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. We've been waiting 40 days to say Alleluia. During Lent, we don't say it. We wait until we can say it on the celebration of Jesus' resurrection. And in today's final reflection of the ashes and the phoenix, Len Freeman describes what that word means. The components of the Hebrew word are hallel, which is the verb to praise, u, which is the second person plural imperative. In other words, y'all do this. And ya, the ending syllable of the sacred name revealed to Moses, which we pronounce Yahweh. The sacred name roughly translates to I am that I am, or I will be who I will be. But God said revelation to a criminal wandering around the wilderness of Sinai is quite astonishing. We tend to forget that Moses was a murderer on the run. And during that encounter, God reveals that God is responding to the prayers and pleas of an enslaved people, telling Moses to confront Pharaoh and set God's people free. When Moses objects, who should I tell the people you are? God replies that the God of Abraham and Sarah and Hagar, of Isaac and Rebekah, of Jacob and Leah and Rachel, is the one who will set the people free. These are families full of faith and conflict and confusion. And the Hebrews who escaped the Pharaohs are a motley crew, sometimes showing faith and other times complaining, often complaining in their decades wandering in the wilderness. But they are rescued as a community, just as they are called as a community, just as we are called as a community and saved as a community. Jesus called the community together from the crews of fishing boats, from the ranks of despised collaborators, specifically a tax collector for the Romans, from those who sought the promised savior of Israel and those who were very surprised that Jesus even spoke to them. We join together with all these preceding generations in saying hallelujah, anglicized hallelujah, praising the Holy One as a community. And I am grateful to the members of St. Mary's community who encouraged us to praise God together, sharing their reflections on the daily readings in the Ashes and the Phoenix. Specifically, Nancy Clark on Mondays, John Hayashi on Tuesdays, I shared on Wednesdays, Donna Davidson on Thursdays, Hal Cranston on Fridays, David Sullivan on Saturdays, and Molly Irwin on Sundays. We were voices raised together, praising the Holy One, even when we couldn't say, Alleluia, which now we can joyfully say, Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia.